Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix EA Sports FC24 is having controller or gamepad is not working or it is not getting detected and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one, this video is for the uh, you know, Steam users as well. So watching this, the first one you have to do a simple restart on your PC or try with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the game. And click on uh, start and move to the power icon go to the uh, restart over here once the game is restart try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not and if that is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to disable or enable the steam input for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the properties now from here we just need to go to the controller go over here and click on this one and we have to go for enable the steam input if the uh, it is enabled you have to try launch the game if uh, enable steam input is not working try changing this to disable steam input and try launch the game as well you can try either enable the steam input or you can try disable the steam input anyone thinking uh, anyone can be done and if that is not working you can move to the next step next step is all about we have to launch the game using only controller so launch the game and we have to use only the controller this even worked for many uses, you can try this out as well. So launch the game and just use the controllers as well. Next one, we have to disconnect all the other peripheral which is already connected. So you might be connected with a lot of things, so just remove all these things. And once you remove all these things, just go back, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. For few users, this, this particular step did work it, so you can try this out. Next one is all about, we need to launch the Steam in the big picture mode. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the game, click on the enter big picture mode. So let me mute this up a little bit. Now once the game is successfully launched, what we need to do is we just need to go over here. Now from here we just need to go to the game. Now go over here and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So for many of the users launching the game in the big picture mode did work it for them. At the same time few people question even asking how to exit from the big picture mode. So just go over here in the steam, click on this one. Go to the power icon over here and go for exit big picture mode. Once you exit the big picture mode, we just need to go back over here and now from here go to the library. Now from here we just need to go over here, navigate to EA Sports FC24 and try launch the game as well. Next one is all about we have to turn off the steam overlay. For this we just need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Go over here and turn this off. Make sure uh, we have if it is enabled, we have to turn this off. Try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to go over here. Next one that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. For this, what we need to do is we just need to, not to disable the steam overlay. After the steam overlay, we need to go over here and close the overlay application. So just go over here in the start, right click, and we have to go over here in the device manager. Right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the perform, uh, not the device manager, sorry, right click and we have to go within the task manager. All these things are actually running in the background. There are 55 apps are actually running in the background, which is all affecting your performance when you are launching the game. This even is one of the, one of the reason why we are having this issue. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here and remove the unwanted things. For example, Discord, Reward Tuner, MSI Afterburner. All these things can be removed from here. Once afterwards, just close this, go back and try launch the game. Next one, always use wired controller. Should not be depending on wireless controller, which is very important. Always use wired controller. Last and the least one, try installing the Xbox accessories. So just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the Microsoft Store. Now from here in the store, we need to navigate to over here. So uh, we just need to go over here. Now from here, go to the search and go for Xbox accessories. Now from here, go over here in the Xbox accessories and we have to open and update it. So if uh, the for me, this is already installed, so it's fine. But those who are having the issue, just open this and update the controller. Afterwards, try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.